Hey guys, Crystal here. Uh, I'm here cutting the soap. It is 9.43 at night. I took a nap earlier today and then I fell back to sleep again right after supper. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Here, let me see if I can adjust my light so it can get a little brighter in here. Um, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, couldn't sleep, had a rebatch on my mind. My rebatch was in my crock pot. I thought I need to get this thing done, and I'm, I'm an insomniac anyway. I can never sleep. Like I'm okay about going to sleep, but I can't stay asleep. So I'm up and down all night long. And I was up at 4 o'clock yesterday morning and just could not sleep. So that made me sleep twice today. So that means I'm up now quarter till 10 and I know I'm going to be up. So I've got a soap in the crock pot. I had it in the crock pot before I laid down and I turned it on warm. So it wouldn't blow up my house. I didn't mean to go to sleep. I was just going to lay down and watch a movie. Anyway, I can be doing all this while I cut this soap. But I fe anyway, I fell asleep. And the soap I'm doing right now is my uh, is a hot process soap. It's still a little bit too too squishy to cut. But I think that the water that's in it's going to cure out. It's nowhere near as squishy as the last the other soap that I had to do, the one that I had to rebatch. But this one is Amazingly Grace. And it's done with white and gold and copper penny and another color. But I decided I'll go ahead and cut this. And my thing is moving. I'll go ahead and cut this soap since I can't sleep. And I got one more to cut. I don't know if I'm going to cut it. These are cutting too, too thin. I won't have to move my... And my cutting board needs to be needs to be fixed pretty bad not fixed but cleaned I cut one earlier and it got everywhere there we go that's a little bit better but it it smells really good um, I used maple syrup for my simple syrup instead of regular sugar or not regular sugar but sugar cane and you can smell the Amazing Grace on it. There's the top. You can smell the Amazing Grace on it, but you can also smell the um, maple syrup. So, I'm hoping that the maple syrup will kind of go away and the Amazing Grace will show through a little bit more. That's what I'm hoping anyway. But yeah, I decided since I'm up... I might as well cut soap and these are all hot process soaps I've been getting into hot process here lately been kind of diving my toes in it just a little bit and um I mean I like it but I don't think it's like something I would do for all my soaps I think I'm more of a cold process kind of gal but I want to be able to master the hot process method. And us soapers, you know what I mean. Like, you want to be able to do things if you have to. Not so much if you have to, just because you want to. I mean, just because I do cold process soaps doesn't mean I shouldn't know how to do hot process as well. So, even though this one's a little soft, and it's a little soft because I followed another soaper's advice and did 40% water. Well, that was a no-no. I should have knew better right then and there, but I didn't, and I used 40% water. So, this soap, the last soap I cut, they're pretty soft. I mean, I don't want to squeeze too hard. Because I don't want to put my finger through it. But I'm hoping that it'll cure out. Now the soap I had to rebatch. There was just no saving that soap. It was just way too soft. And I'm loving these drop swirls. Aren't those drop swirls pretty? 
And I never knew you could do drop swirls with hot process soap. But my soap cutter definitely is going to need a cleaning after this. So I've decided just to cut some soap. Cut some soap. Didn't have nothing better else to do. My daughters are in the shower getting ready for uh, church tomorrow. My boys are in bed. My husband is fiddling with the computer. I can't sleep. So I thought, why not just cut my soap? So if it's a little bit dark in here, I'm sorry. Last piece. But I thought I'd do something productive. Now I really got to clean my soap cutter because it is. See, look at that. It is nasty. Okay, and if you guys know of a good way to get here, I'll show you. If you guys know of a good way to get in here and this crack, please let me know. Because I've tried everything to try to clean that out. And nothing I'm doing is working. Anyway, I got one more soap to cut, so I'm going to put this one away. I might cut it tonight. Um... And I turned my crock pot back on. I might as well make the soap while I'm up. Heck, I might be up all night. Who knows? Anyways, if you like this video, please do subscribe uh, and hit the like button. And of course, you know, comment. Love it when you guys comment. I will comment back to you. But um, it means the world to me when you guys like my videos and comment and stuff. So I really appreciate that. And I want to talk, you know, to all my subscribers. And all my future subscribers, you know, thank you. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.